advice I would give them is to keep their mind open and to research, but to also try to attend things like this and pay attention to what real people and people in their lives, so the advice that they are giving them. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with, is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers. We really wanted to highlight the successes of our former students as they continue to evolve into young adults. I feel like they were just my students yesterday, and now I'm calling them to come back for a career day. But it's really awesome to see the um, growth they've made in their career field and how some of them have navigated to the career fields that they've have. I'm a chemical engineer. My sister is a civil engineer. And uh, we have very, 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 very different jobs, but both very exciting. Uh, one of the reasons that I, I, we both picked going into engineering is because of the flexibility it provides. Uh, there is so many industries that you can go in and so many roles that you can have. So it's been exciting to be able to teach young students about that because that's definitely something that I would have liked when I was their age. When I was younger and I heard chemical engineer, I mean, what, what does a chemical engineer do? So it's, it's nice to be able to communicate that to the students. I had the pleasure of speaking with students that expressed interest in the medical field. A lot of the students neither wanted to be nurses, they wanted to be doctors. Some of them expressed interest in like radiology tech positions. So I got to give him a little bit of information on the medical field, what to expect. Um, I was able to help more with the nursing side um, alongside with Courtney, who is a nurse about to be a nurse practitioner, who also graduated from Camel. And then we also had Dr. Spiritus today, who was able to talk to some of the students that had interest of pursuing medical degrees. Advice I would give them is to um, keep their mind open and to not get pressured into picking something just to pick something because that's certainly certainly something that I felt was in, when I was in high school. I felt that, okay, I have to have it figured out. You know, I have to go into college and, and pick this. So I would just advise them to keep their mind open and to be to research, but to also try to do attend things like the, the this and pay attention to what real real people and people in their lives so the advice that they are giving them there's doors behind doors behind doors behind doors in nursing and especially in the medical field the opportunities that are endless you know you can go you can get your lpn bridge to your rn get your bsn go from your bsn to get your msn or you can even get your doctorate and there's so many there's so many things that you could do with it rather than you don't like you don't have to work bedside. You can work in a doctor's office. You can work for an attorney. You can work for a, uh, an insurance company. There's so many things that you can do. You, you can even work in public health. Technology is great, but it can never give care like a human can. So there's always going to be a need for doctors. There's always going to be a need for nurses. So there's definitely many opportunity. So our 11th grade is our smallest group. There's 23 of them that were our initial group that started in seventh grade. And each year we've grown. Um, I think right now we're at like about 45 applicants already for seventh grade for next year. And we haven't even had our open house yet. So um, we're growing, words getting out. We're doing a lot to get our kids out into the community and to spread um, awareness of what impact this really has had on them. BusinessJournalDaily.com, three minutes with, is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers.